hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a watch me work over this beautiful look it features two accent nails that are marble with the teal brown golden hint of black just a real pretty but very simple somewhat simple look this is an acrylic refill so you can see we have that beautiful polishing. Oh, look at that cuticle area. Yes. So this is my mom's previous set when it was freshly done. Y'all know I like to, you know, see where we came from to know where we're going. So this is our previous set. Look at that bling. Look how pretty. Oh, it was just so cute to me. And could you believe this is literally her set after three weeks? I know you couldn't tell at first. I know you couldn't. I zoomed it in for you so you could believe me not a bead or a stone missing yes so i am showing this clip of me trying to get these stones off and i this is sped up and i actually had to edit this um so i could speed it up even more it was a labor's process i edited on my phone just in case y'all didn't know so and this is sped up four times as much instead of the two my iMovie allows. <laughs> um, just to kind of show you how much work I put in and how difficult it was to get these stones off. And I'm using my little garden tool <laughs> nippers as I usually do. But it's very difficult. And I even had to use my little, this is just a little cheap bit i use to get the metal and any little small stones so i'm using this poochie's nails um coarse bit i don't i don't know if it's coarse or extra coarse and i'm using that just to take off the gel polish and to take down the two nails that are going to be marble because i'm going to be using the um a an acrylic as the base for the marble so I'm going to not be only file it, not only be filing the gel polish down, but taking down the actual nail. And you can see I'm taking down the length a little bit too. And then I'm going to be debulking the product, as you will see. And I'm using my Medicool Pro Power 20K drill. Um, my drill um or electric file is broken um because i've dropped it a few too many times and it only goes fast so it's great for those mean green bits those extra coarse bits like it literally only goes fast so i use it for that only for takedown and removal and then i have a cheap little um, amazon e-file that uh, my fiance actually bought when when he is and does and has experimented with doing nails. So that just became mine. <laughs> so that's, it was a little cheap file and it works really well for um, finished filing, shaping, cuticle work. It doesn't have any vibration. It just doesn't, it goes fast, but it doesn't have enough power. I like to think it's called torque, <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> But it goes fast, but when you press down, it slows down. And so the Medicool doesn't. I need to get it fixed or buy a new one. I don't know. But we're ooh, I got two drills. One for the takedown, one for the cuticle work. <laughs> so this is the Skiver Bic from, from Atwood Industries. And I am just removing any dead cuticle from the nail plate. Of course, this is sped up, so it looks aggressive. You always want to keep this bit as parallel to the nail plate as possible. That's kind of hard to capture um, at the angle that I record. But you don't want to have it pointed into the nail plate because that can cause rings. So keep it as flush as possible or as parallel as possible to the nail bed. And I'm going to go in with my round bit. And that's going to take off any dead skin at the cuticle area and kind of buff that down in a way and my mom she has more sensitive skin so 
I don't dive too deep. I mean, not that it would cut her. She's just sensitive, y'all. Don't tell her I told y'all. Um, so this is Hidden Pleasure from Valentino. And this is going to be that nude with that golden shimmer. I love classic nude from Valentino. I love that color for every skin tone, every nail bed color. Try it. Trust me. And I'm using Tammy Taylor's Extra Adhesion. Uh, girl? Extra Adhesion <laughs> Monomer. Um, it was at a local nail supplier and I tried it and I'm actually very 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 much love it <laughs> um of course I always and forever love young nails the Valentino monomer and I mean in case you're curious it's very expensive got that once maybe twice um courtesy of Valentino but I was like I'm not gonna pay for that myself <laughs> and um I'm using my poochie's nails brush the number 16 I got this when she first started doing the brushes, so it is pinched, and I don't think she does that anymore, so sorry. So you can see how I'm applying the product. I left in a little more of this aspect of it, just so you can see the application. You can see me pushing up the product as close to the cuticle area, technically the epinicium. We know this, but we're going to call it cuticle area because that's, all, that's how we know and love to call it and we get as close as possible without touching the live skin but you don't want the product too far away because your nail is going to look a week grown out when you just done it and i see so many people do that oh it gets on my nerves but i'm not shady so i don't say anything to anybody <laughs> um so i'm using the young nail speed clear to cap this just because um I just want to make sure it had that strength um in the nail and I didn't want to keep building it up with that acrylic um so you can see how close we are to the skin we have the slightest like a hair's distance away from the actual skin so now I am filing shaping and I tried to get a good clip of this I always flip the hand up and that helps me um, really see which fingers are twisted, the angles they're at, to make sure that they are as even as possible and as sharp as possible. So I go ahead and get my shape down first. And then I'm using this Poochie's Nails Fine Safety or Smooth Top Bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish file the surface. And you could just see my process with doing that. And um, I use this on like a medium high speed. You just kind of have to play around what I do hate. And I don't think it's good when your drill is making an sound that just sounds like it's grinding on the nail, like it's moving too slow. That can cause a lot of heat. So you want to make sure when you're pressing down with your e-file that it's not slowing down or making sounds or dragging. You want it to go smoothly over the nail. So I am just going in and smoothing it out, always filling with my thumb. It's sped up so you can't really see that too much. But then I'm going in with my, with my cross cut bit, going around the cuticle area, getting that nice and tight and going over the entirety of the nail. And this takes the step of me using a hand buffer. I just use this bit instead. Then I dust it off and we're ready for polish after this step. Well, I, I always go in. I don't show it. I always go in and um, with my hand file and make sure, um, regain my shape, make sure my corners are sharp and whatnot. I did not have the clip, so I'm sorry. So I'm using the Cherry Cherry Cherry. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, the Nail Job Collab, the Marble tints i'm using the brown the black and the gold i'm using pacific from madam glam i love this color it was a part of my collab box with madam glam i genuinely love that color genuinely love madam glam using 99 percent alcohol this cherie cherie whatever point brush i use another brush but whatever brush you have the joy of mia top coat and I'll also be using the Kiera Sky Top Coat. Y'all see that? So um, just over the ones with that um, golden color acrylic that we're doing the marble. I'm going to apply the gel polish. And then I'm going to use a little bit of alcohol in that brush to manipulate the um, product around and kind of dilute it. 
and push it where I want it and get those veins going. I want to make sure it's not too thick so you can see me kind of smoothing it out and taking out that kind of thickness. I didn't want texture on it. So I'm just flattening that out and moving that color. And I'm trying to get as natural of a look as possible. So I'm showing you the Kiara Sky Top Coat that I use. So I cured that gel polish, that teal veining we did. Cure that first, then top coat with the Kiara Sky. And I like to use the Kiara Sky and wipe the tacky layer. Because I like how the um, marble tints man are manipulated on top of that. I like how it looks. Uh, some people use a matte top coat. Um, you're just going to have to experiment and see what works best for you. And what look you're trying to go for. If you want a different look, you might want to use a different top coat. So just test it out. So I'm just manipulating this, trying to see where I want to put this. This look is a spot is inspired directly from another nail tech. I can't recall at this moment. It's like 6 o'clock in the morning. I haven't slept. I will put it somewhere in the video or at the end. Sorry. But thank you, girl, for the inspiration. And so I'm just manipulating this, adding more color where I see fit, trying to get it to flow nicely. I didn't have, like how it looked right then. <laughs> it looked like a little crosswalk, zigzag situation. And I really take pride in like the marble and stuff that I do. Well, everything that I do. <laughs> but I really like it to look, I guess, as organic, teal and brown with some gold shimmer marble can look. <laughs> so I'm really just playing around with it and just getting it how I like and adding more of the marble tints um taking it away and then I realized that I need to cross over these teal lines and me and my mom are such the same person that we both noticed the same she's like I love how you crossed over that line <laughs> I love her so much so you allow that to air dry it takes like five minutes I just do the other hand but you want it to air dry and I'm using the Kiara Sky top coat you also got to play around with the top coats because some of them will drag the color um even if it is dry so make sure you dry it and make sure you try this out and know your top coats before you do this on a client so top coated wipe the tacky layer now I'm doing the gold I do that after I top coat because you see during this process, I would have taken off the brown and the black that we put down. So we're top coating in between layers because we don't want to mess up what we already put down. So just manipulating that the same way. And then um, we're going to top coat that with the Kiara Sky. And this is a clip of just some regular old polishing. I just like to show you guys how close um, to try and get to that cuticle area. If I could figure out how those Russian nail techs get up under the epinigium, well, girl, it's a wrap. But two, I do two coats of the gel polish, top coat, we're done. Get some moisturization, and we have our finished look. Really simple, very, very cute. Love that detail. And let me tell you something. My little sister said that these marble nails look like throw up, and me and my mom have just been <laughs> appalled since she said that. So let me know if y'all think they look like throw up. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, thumbs up, comment. Bye.